Welcome to a video from the digitalifestyle.com New Windows 11 build to look at This is build 22449 For Windows inside this on the dev channel And for the first time in a while We've got a difference between the dev channel And the beta channel That's because the dev channel Is on the pre-release RS pre-release channel Or a branch of development And as you can see here We've got the watermarks back as well And this is because this is receiving now Updates not uh, specifically for the October 5th release of Windows 11. These are future versions and it's probably it's not specifically tied to any particular build, but it's effectively going to be the first update to Windows 11. So we're going to start to get features in this dev channel now that are going to show up probably next spring in Windows 11. So these changes aren't tied to a specific build. Uh, so but it's good to see some of this future stuff. So I don't know which of these features will ship at which time but uh yeah it's good to have these new builds coming through so what's new in this well actually in this one there isn't very much to show you this is probably the start of well this is the start of the development uh, microsoft say the compression in the smb uh has changed which is a real under the hood type stuff but it just means that um for transferring files over the network it works in conjunction with Windows Server uh, uh, 2022, and you can uh, admins can uh, can set the file size up as well. So it's it's not something that yeah you're really going to be doing. There are some other changes though. Um, when the PC starts up, and I'll have to try and capture this on a virtual machine because here on my Surface Pro, uh, on my Surface Go, I don't I can't show you because the screen capture won't capture it. It's, when the the boot screen now instead of being a ring of dots, it's a ring of circles, um, which is the new sort of style in Windows 11, and they're going to try and apply that everywhere. So what else is new? Right, clicking on Bluetooth there takes you to the uh, settings, takes settings and the Bluetooth section there. The Windows startup sound no longer plays after a scheduled reboot, or unintended. Um, or unattended update. In other words, if you uh, when this you install the build or an update and then it has to reboot itself, it's not going to um, make the sound. So not maybe not wake you up or whatever, just annoyingly that the sounds like. So you only hear the sound when you do a manual restart. It says that notifications have an acrylic uh, background. Um, that's probably when the notifications pop up, and the app names have been uh, more clearly defined on here as well. The rest of the um, settings, or the rest of the changes are just fixes. There's some taskbar fixes. The calendar would not be popping out properly. Focus assist is not displaying properly, so they they fix that. In fact, there's quite a long list of settings. I won't go through them all, but the things thing fix things like um, file explorer was slow in certain circumstances and uh, some reliability of that and they fixed some issues where the explorer would crash when you're right clicking and pasting there's a lot of settings that have been fixed mainly on crashes and some language options um there is a fix for bluetooth le that was causing uh bluetooth to crash sometime or resume or hibernate or when you resume from hibernate and Bluetooth was off. They fixed some uh, issues where certain devices wouldn't work with Bluetooth. There's quite a few Bluetooth fixes as well. Uh, they fixed some issues with the chat from Team and Task Manager. There's still some known issues with this build as well. Um, like the start menu not coming up correctly, some widgets not displaying correctly. And there's also, there is a um, and there is an issue as well with some insiders where this uh, the start menu wasn't displaying correctly, so it would just kind of kind of have the the taskbar without the icons, and um, that was a server side issue. Microsoft say, and there is a workaround that you can open Task Manager using Control Alt Delete and then run a uh, a command and delete. Um, or and create a registry edit, and it would just sort itself out. So there is full details of that on the blog um, on Microsoft's uh, website, which I'll also have on the dislifestyle.com. So those are the main changes with this build. There's not a, 
a lot to see, but this is the start of the under the hood changes and of Windows 11 for the sec first update to Windows 11. So thanks for watching this video. I've got other Windows 11 videos on our YouTube channel, and you can find me on Twitter at iStixon.